there guys, my name is Ken Shaw, Dongster Bomb, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, today's a jam-packed day, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a jam-packed day of uploads. We've got five videos coming today. We've got Garland, which is this one, we've got Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Leesburg, Volcania, and also talking about uh, Six Flags as well. So we've got five big updates to talk about. Um, ranging from ride removals, brand new, you know, coasters. We've got a coaster removal today. Ride refurbishments. It's all going down. So before we get started, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the FK spell see them this YouTube video, please. We're getting closer and closer to two thousand subscribers. That's one milestone video, and then a second milestone video will be when we reach five hundred thousand total views, a half a million total views. And that one's going to be a good day as well because we get we're about five thousand away already, which is unbelievable. So please, 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 let's get those view count up and let's get to the five hundred k and two k subs. And for now, let's get started. So Shaman at Gardaland, that is the nineteen eighty five Vacoma um, corkscrew coaster. And basically, some track has been removed. The pictures that you're going to see on your screen while talking about Shaman, bit of history on the ride, and also talking about what you can see. Uh, come from Car Garland Park fan page so credit goes to them for the image and we're going to talk about this and also share a Google Maps image that I've drawn up myself for potential possibilities if this is a permanent removal uh, so let's get straight into it by talking about Shaman for those of you who don't know anything about this roller coaster so Shaman at Garland first opened back in 1985 so of course this year it is um, 35 years old which is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous um now this is a vacoma mk1200 double loop corkscrew coaster uh it's got a length of 2296.6 feet a height of 98.4 feet a speed of 43.5 miles per hour and four inversions in a two minute ride cycle all those stats due to the roller coaster database now uh, this used to be named Magic Mountain up until 2016 and then Shaman from 2017 to 2020. Uh, now, of course, a little bit of extra facts about the ride. The original Arrow Trains chassis was replaced with a new chassis from Vacoma in 2008. And then the bodies were replaced the following year in 2009. Optional VR glasses were added for 2017, but it was removed again in 2018. And the ride is just as it was. Now, as you can see already on your screen. The images from Gardaland Park fan page shows track sections on site but not on the layout which hints at two things, track replacement and maintenance or a complete possible removal of the ride and of course you know parks are removing stuff because of the pandemic but to be fair I to be honest I think with this I was expecting oh yeah track maintenance replacement work on track that kind of thing but the fact that they've even brought up this possibility does hint at possibilities as to what's going to happen with the site. So what I've done is, I've drawn up a Google Maps image to show you what I think could be coming onto the site. So here's a look. So as you can see already on your screen, that is Google Maps and that is a look at the site of Shaman. Now of course next to it you've got the uh, Kung Fu Panda Master Coaster which is opposite the ride and you've also got uh, the Sequoia Magic Loop right next to Shaman. Now, looking at the current coaster lineup, you've got a Vacoma SLC, you've got a Fabris Spinning Coaster, you've got a Vacoma Mine Train, you've got a B&M Dive, a B&M Wing, and you've got an SNS Screaming Swirl as well as a worm themed family coaster by Pinfari. Now, what's missing in that lineup? If Shaman is going to be permanently removed, what is missing from the lineup? A launch coaster. So, one of the possibilities that I could see come to this park, and this is only a maybe, is maybe some kind of Intamin Blitz or maybe they go down the Mac launch coaster route, the Mac multi launch coaster route. Now you're probably thinking, hang on a sec, the site's too small, what are you thinking? Well, what if I were to tell you that maybe you could remove Colorado Boat, which is the uh, attraction right next to the Shaman area, and you could redevelop that entire section of land because that is a prime coaster site if you remove both the log flume and Shaman. Sequoia Magic Loop can still operate, but I think it would just be Shaman and Colorado Boat that um, stays removed. So I think Colorado Boat could get removed if Shaman was to be replaced. I think Shaman could be the first sort of domino effect for Colorado Boat to fall next. 
and you know I think I think it would be sort of helped even more if Colorado Boat was confirmed not to operate for next season and then it'll get removed day by day so look at the site and I could see a prime Intamin Blitz an out and out launch coaster or a Mac multi launch maybe go down the icon route or um, Helix at Leesburg or something like that or they go down the Taran routes a low to the ground very fast very sharp launch coaster and like I said if you remove Shaman and the Colorado boat that my friends and ladies is a prime site for a brand new launch coaster so there we go that is looking at potential options for Shaman site just in case it is a permanent removal now of course we don't know that for certain however I'm sure the park will officially confirm something later on um i wouldn't be surprised at either option I, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now i'm predicting that i wouldn't be surprised with either option because on the one hand look at f telling what they did with python the track replacement the complete overhaul of the ride and kept it open and it's still going to be open for a good long amount of years to come so i think garland could go down that route and see the success of what they've done with python at f telling and go down that particular section or that particular route uh, and replace some track sections, get the coma in, you know, do some nice track modifications to it. Now, the other option, the brand new coaster, again, I think like many other people, especially if it's a launch coaster, I would not be aside from that route. I think I would be completely for this option. And I think it'd be a fantastic coaster. It'd be a great, you know, moving of the times. You know, we all, we, we, I think if there was going to be a launch coaster, I think it was going to be any coaster we would be losing Colorado Boat as well. I think that is just the case. I think the site itself, just Shaman, is too small for a launch coaster in my opinion. So I think that if you play the Colorado Boat site into it as well, not Magic Loop, because that's going to be staying. I, th I think that's probably clear. If it is going to be Magic Loop going as well, fair play. But I think what we're looking at here is just Shaman, and I think if it is going to be a new coaster, Colorado Boat will probably go as well, because I think that, like I say, it's a prime site for a coaster. Uh, especially a launch coaster, you got to think Colorado Boat is a log flume. You know that's a that's a flume ride, so they could have some nice water effects when you're doing the twists and turns on this launch coaster. Um, and the, you look what Intamin's done with Velocicoaster, with Pantheon, uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It's prime prime sites, and look what Max done with Helix with Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the UK. So it's not it's it's not against the rules to work with Matt Rides. Matt Rides may be less of a possibility than Intamin just for the fact that I know that Mac are working on a hell of a lot more projects in the future than Intamin. I know Intamin's got a lot of projects as well, but Matt Rides has got a lot more going on in my opinion. So I think and that's not just coasters, it's dark rides, water rides, other rides, flat rides, anything. So I think Intamin are going to be a little tinsy wincy less busy than Mac. And I think that's just me being perfectly honest. But I think they're still going to be extra busy. So I think they could, they could. I think both manufacturers can fit one more in the schedule. But I think Intamin will probably do it more than Mac. Uh, especially with Mac working with Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And you know Intamin's work with the Merlin Chain more in the past as well. So I think that Intamin's probably the more likely manufacturer if it is going to be a launch coaster. But again, comment down below any other possibilities you think. Don't all comment RMC because it's not going to happen. Um, you know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be RMC. Um, but if you've got any other possibilities, as well as a launch coaster by Intamin or Mac, comment down below. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update. Like I said, we've got plenty more to come from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, from Volcania, from Six Flags. Um, obviously, got this one that you're watching now from Gardaland. Um, and you've also got one from Leesburg as well. So, you know, it's going to be a jam-packed day today. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.